Hello everyone and welcome back to DJ's Gaming. We are here with another episode of Airship Kingdoms Adrift. And we have finally made the new ship. Uh, I, I did some... Uh, a lot, honestly. I did a lot of construction and work. Or not construction... I did a lot of work though. Um, I spent a very large amount of time working on just getting stuff done. And now we got the, the new Iron Drake. I haven't named it yet. So, first off, come up with some names for this guy. You know, put some, some uh, uh, names in the. Uh, in the uh, comment section for this uh, ship, um, and yeah, it's it's pretty good. If we go ahead and go over here, the the ship fitting, you know, it has a lot of uh, we can, you know, it has a lot of potential gun placements. And so there's you know there's there's potential for upgrading the broadsides. But we'd be taking away a lot of the armor for it. But yeah, I haven't even tested this baby out yet. Um, it did jump us up to a 13 fleet power. All on its own. And so, it's not bad. So, we are going to, right off the bat, head off to the, the main mission the and let's... Cruise drive. You know, let's go ahead and get that started. I, I, I feel bad for these these guys because I'm going to test my my ship out on them. Engaging cruise oh, and they're trying to run from us too. Okay. May your weapon strike through. Incoming! Ow. Let's also... There's something I want to test out. Enemy is taking a beating, Commander. Man, this thing is slow at turn here. Okay, we did a bunch of damage. Engaging cruise All right, now we're getting close to them, and I am not sure how tough Attention, these guys are. Attention, pirates! Be. We know who you are and what you've been doing. Stop your ship and surrender, and we will show you mercy. What? How did you? No matter. We can start over elsewhere. But you meddlers will die here. Such confidence. Let's do this then. Okay. You two go on the assault. Strike through. Oh, this thing has shields. They, they have shields. Gun just went out. All right. Ah, let's get our ammo room. Engine hit. Get it fixed quick. Come on. Our ammo rack is hit. How rude of them. And 
I, I tore through their shield. Dang, they can't Oh, I need to turn. I need to turn. I need to turn. Use, use my other broadside. Use my other broadside. Ow, ow, ow. I am losing guns like no tomorrow for, to this thing. Ow. I barely did any damage to this thing, too. Take aim and fire at your target. Are you freaking kidding me? Maybe capture this guy and keep this guy off my butt. Who's taking a beating, Commander? Getting to where he's getting to hit him now. Yes. Don't get too close to board. Don't board. Don't board. Do not board him. Just keep hitting him. Ship is really beaten up. Almost there, Commander. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Really oh, bad, that hurt. I saw those missiles and I knew they were gonna hit. Dang it. Oh no, two more missiles. Big ship do I have left? Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Ow, come on, come on. Man, the, the missile. I, I have too much dead. I have too much dead. I, I can't even move. I can't move. My freaking escort's way off over there, doing nothing to help. Now I, I'm now just a sitting duck. I am a sitting duck right now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I am a level 13. That should not have happened. Attention, pirate. You guys, you guys get up close and personal. Come on. If they can keep the thing distracted and I can use them to get around it. Hits. 
get it fixed quick. Okay, it's ah, that hit our ammo room. It's out of gun. It is out of gun. Their ammo room is destroyed. No. Okay, now he's trying trying to rotate because he's he's out of gun. But he doesn't have very many guns on that side, so we can outgun him if I can get ro if I can get rotate on. And I hit him with my other broadside. We can outgun this guy. I can't seem to get the turn off on him. He's too fast. Can we maybe break some more of his light abilities? Come on, come on. Or just blow him up. That works. Now we can go after this guy. And you know what? This guy's not going to be too hard to ca just capture. Let's just go capture him. Personal. I mean, this guy's not much, but... Oh, he's getting too far away. All my other ships are getting... ...cause problems here. Okay, come on, come on. What has place for ramming? Okay, they're in the middle of boarding. Let's... Oh, he just destroyed my ship. Now I really want to capture him. Especially because he is weak and I am very powerful. Yes, feel bad. we captured him. Defeat by young upstarts. Unbelievable. But remember this. Our brothers are many. You cannot win. Wow, how ominous. Let's review the mission before we go back, Commander. Now he surrendered. That means we should be capturing him. Did both of our sh did we lose both of our ships? At least we're gonna see if possibly. Nope, it doesn't work that way. How am I without any fleet Engaging still a pa drive. Pa fleet power of thirteen? So yeah, apparently we, we lose ships that are, are quest quest ships, if we capture quest ships. That sucks. Oh, my cargo is full. Yeah, cargo is full because I just lost everything. And that ended up, I lost both my ships. We are cruising. I don't know how I didn't lose my fleet power. Okay, let's go ahead real quick and recapture some ships. Hmm. 
May your weapons strike true. Incoming! Oh my goodness, that Ah, that hit our ammo room. Engine hits. Get it. Okay, let's quick. try not to do too much damage. They took out our ammo room. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Turn, turn, turn. Their ammo room is destroyed. Kidding me. Cruiser taking a beating, Commando. More is hit. Get somebody on it. A beating commander. This is good. All right, that's enough. Let's call for a parlay. Uh. If we run into like a single ship on the way that I can Engaging capture, yeah, that we need better ships though. We we need. I, I don't really want to capture another one of those ships that we had before, but I wouldn't mind trying to you know f capture a new ship. But yeah, I, I want to kind of capture more of a combat style ship. Is what I'm wanting to do. And then after we can't, you know, capture a combat style ship, that might make things a little easier. Now, what should we? If we could buy a pre-made ship, would be Welcome back, easier. Mr. Donadier. Took your sweet time, huh? We've been waiting for you. Siggy and uh, Minerva, what are you doing here? That's not how you greet two beautiful women now, is it? I'll have to deduct some points. I thank you again for your rescue, Mr. Donadier. If it weren't for you and the commander, I would have died. Or worse. I heard from Miss Agatha too. Nice job, Jani. I hope the reward you receive from Mr. Oliver will suffice. Ah, I thought you did that out of goodness of your heart. Did you two practice this, or just play by ears? I'm just kidding. Really, good job on saving such a nice girl. Anyway, Mr. Oliver and Miss Agatha are in the office, discussing business. They asked us to wait for you, and then send you two to them when you've arrived, Commander. Miss Agatha and Mr. Oliver? you know what this is about, Siggy? No idea. But they have been talking a while now, so you better go in there now. Mm, all right. See you two later then. Okay. Ooh, they're actually gonna give us a bun bunch of eagles. You are here at last. Welcome back. Ah, Commander. Jean, we've been talking about you. About us? But before that, let's hear how your task goes. I assume you dealt with the pirates. Yes, ma'am. The pirates have been dealt with, including their treasure ship, too. First, we hunt down two ships which were doing the robbing. Then, with information we appropriate, identify the third one. At first, I thought they were responsible for sinking Leton Stream, but all of them have conventional equipment. Nothing capable to inflict that kind of damage. A shame. Our mysterious assailant is still out there, then. Which brings us back to what we were discussing. I'm inclined to agree with your point even more now, Mr. Oliver. I'm glad you agree. This will definitely benefit both our company. You were discussing us? Yes. Congratulations on founding your new company, Commander. 
Wait, what now? Congratulations. What? You see, Miss Agatha and I have been discussing a matter of loaning you to Sex and Standard as a privateer of sorts. But after talking for a while, we've come to a conclusion that it would be better for all parties if the commander was able to act independently. Are we getting fired or something, ma'am? Technically, you and the commander will be taking ownership of a joint subsidiary between Silverbloom and Sex and Standard. So a promotion. You will still be working with us, but not entirely for us. You will have greater freedom to act, to own and develop your assets as you see fit. From time to time, you will have to handle some specific task from us. I still expect you to fulfill your obligation to us with the best of your ability. But why a new company, ma'am? Why not? You and the Commander are better off freely growing on your own than being kept like a potted plant. As our subsidiary, we will cover the initial cost and contract cost, should you be hiring any new personnel. But expect that the mission we'll be setting before you will be challenging, befitting of your station. Won't hiring a private tier fleet be cheaper and faster, ma'am? Not that I'm questioning your decision or anything. I trust you more than I trust any outsider. And Mr. Oliver vouches for your ability as well. You have proven your honesty to me already. Now I am betting for the capacity of your growth. Well, we have explained so much. If you are to decline us now, I will be sorely disappointed. Of course the Commander and I agree. Honestly, this feels like a big, unusual and rather complex promotion. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. Jean, I will be expecting even greater things now. I will now return to our headquarters in Everspring to finalize the documentations. I will leave Minerva in your care, then. Wait, yeah? Why, yeah? <laughs> the Commander will become the leader of this company. Miss Minerva will be working as the liaison to Section Standard, just as you, Jean, will be the liaison to Silverbloom. Meaning we will still be working with each other, but your pace will come from the Commander instead. Yes, ma'am. I will not disappoint. Now then, I have been talking for a while now. I will handle the rest of paperwork on our side. Indeed. We will send for you when everything is ready. In the meantime, why don't you take Minerva out to the sky? That would be a good idea. We will speak again soon, Commander. There are many talented individuals out there in Soothseg, waiting to be discovered. I've instructed Sigrun to help you with this. She will gather information from around Soothseg concerning our out any outstanding or unusual but skilled individual is up to you to follow this lead yourself or don't follow these leads at all you may even find these potential recruits by yourself when you are out there exploring soothsag but do come by ever so often to check in with Sigrun think of her as a guide when you feel you don't know where to look dismissed okay well that was something Truthfully, I still can't process all this. I mean, isn't this a bit too fast? So, what are you going to name your new company, Commander? Uh... You knew Siggy? Of course. I'm Miss Gata's personal aide, yes? I was just messing with you back then. Congratulations, Commander. And I guess we won't be co-workers now, huh, Jani? Mr. Donadier will be working as a liaison for Silverbloom. You will still be working with him, Sigrun. And you will be aboard the commander's ship, won't you, Minnie? Man, I want to be sailing the sky again. Anyway, congratulations again, Commander. The store is still open to you, so I'll be seeing you around, yes? That is it. No, that is in no way not what she said just now. I trust Mr. Oliver told you the details. Uh, about you working with us from now on? Yes, he did. 
Splendid. For the time being, we should keep ourselves busy. Maybe taking trade contracts or hunting a pirate or two. Permission to come aboard, Commander? Granted. Welcome aboard again, Miss Minerva. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that there, there's a police officer driving by. Okay, now, now he's gone far enough away. I wasn't. Oh, well. Let's get going, Commander. Okay. Now we also have the human resources side. Oh my goodness. And that's actually where we're supposed to... Oh, no, no, never mind. And, and there's... Okay. Give me a minute to process all this. Uh, I still don't have the money to actually buy a new ship. But I have two ships. I should be able to go out and capture a third. But guys, this is where we're going to stop. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the big thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more. And then don't forget to leave in the comment section the na what we should be naming our Iron Drake. And so, yeah, see you guys in the next episode.